we've got 212 for the Bulls. We've got a 1999 year, uh, Boston T4. The 2.5 on the Dino today. This being the 88 grade course originally, uh, as you can probably tell. If you listen to it, I'll do a video in a minute of the inside the engine there. But this one's had some injection upgrades and some class of mileage. We've put a, um, we've put top mounted into the one. Top mounted into the one is a whole waste of time, really. We've got heat, so all of them cooling. Uh, we need to take that temperature, just let us put them on anyway. This is running the old one, and it's running the NSA 1500 component. There has to be solder, so the ECU needs to come out. We need to desolder the chips on the PCB board and solder the chips on there to work through uh, two new software. Uh, for this particular vehicle, the injectors, you can hear them from the lump in idle. Because the control unit's got a map in there that's called the pump voltage map. That pump voltage map is calibrated to suit injectors. Obviously, the injectors is put in a larger than the original ones. Uh, so, the ECU thinks it's injecting X amount of milk, but the injectors are injecting more. So, you get really even higher. Uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to recalibrate the pump voltage map inside the engine control unit to suit the larger injectors. So, we'll do a video in a minute about the engine where it's going to be going to check the drills. Uh, mechanically before we do any tuning of the vehicle. We'll just put the phone down now and have a look at the engine. So this is how I look at the engine and you can hear you can hear the tick over, uh, it's not great. I'm just going to touch. So the pump belt is down this side, we'll check the pump pump rock, uh, we'll check the pump timing, and just the pump timing where I need it, so the pump timing is set up correctly. Uh, the engine control unit is down there, you can see the torch. Uh, NSA 15 engine control unit will pull it out and we'll uh, we'll tune it eventually. Like I say, it's got a front mounted intercooler, but if you feel the top of the intercooler, it gets a lot of heat sort from the engine, especially once you shut the bonnet. Yes, I know people have put a scoop on like this, but it doesn't generate that much airflow over the cooler uh, to actually keep it cool. So yeah, if you feel it, that is hot. So you end up getting heat sort really with a top mounted intercooler. Yes, I know Volkswagen fit them, but Volkswagen uh, didn't fit them really to do uh, to do the job with well. They just put one there for the sake of putting one there. It's not really doing the job correctly, so I wouldn't bother with one. If you are going to put a cooler on, put one down at the front. Obviously, it gets a lot of cool air over it. Right, we'll set off and uh, start mechanically setting this engine up, and then we'll show you some dyno gas. Now, during this T4, uh, uh, we set the mechanical pump timing up, we adjusted the actuator on the turbo so it connected on point one bar bones. Uh, we calibrated the pump voltage map with inside the ECU so we've got correct tick over, which we will be able to hear now. Ticking all the perfect, it's got correct uh, injection quantity of fuel on, uh, on idle, so we don't get the surging or the lumpy idle. Uh, that is the correct way of setting these up is calibrating the pump voltage map inside the ECU uh, to suit the injectors that are fitting for the T3. And all injectors that are fitted into these T4, you have to recalibrate the pump voltage map to suit them. Uh, I'll just knock it off now. That's a bit easier, isn't it? I'll just shut on it as well. And I'll show you the dyno graphs. So this is an 88 grade course uh, to start with. Uh, it's on a year 1999. It has had some Bosch injectors, genuine Bosch injectors fit. And these are the best injectors to fit on these vehicles instead of your uh, cheap China nozzle ones, which are hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but they do give a lot of problems. The Bosch ones are the way to go. If you can find them, I think they are quite rare to get nowadays. Or they're very expensive. Uh, but this one has Bosch injectors, it's got a decat, it's got a side exit, it's got a top mounted intercooler, EGR blanked. Uh, the usual modifications that people do on these. Um, and it came in with the lumpy idle, obviously. So we down I've tested it after we did the pump voltage. I mean, not the pump voltage, the pump timing. Um, and set the turbo up and we down I've tested it, med, med good power. So this is standard ECU software with all the hardware modifications. Like I said, the Bosch injectors, they, they do work best over these cheap injectors what are being uh what are being sold in the uk uh 127 brake horse 
276 newtons of torque. So yeah, quite good figures really for one of these. Uh, he has done some good hardware modifications. Uh, smoke levels were minimum. Did put out a little bit, a bit too much for my liking. Uh, so we, when we tuned the vehicle, we tuned it for cleaner lambda, correct lambda. So that means we've got, uh, we put more air in there than fuel. So we've got uh, better, um, better combustion. So we're not gonna throw as much smoke out. So we'll load our tune graph up now for it and I'll show you what we make tune. I'll overlay it over the standard one as well. So this is the tune uh, with absolutely perfect tick over now, no smoke level, running 1.1 bar boost. Um, absolutely spot on across the full grip range. Tuning really doesn't get any better than this. I know these inside out. Uh, yeah, I've pulled the ECO, desoldered the, desoldered the chips inside the ECU, which are a 27C010 chip, uh, which I soldered onto the ECU PCB board. Uh, I removed them, I put some sockets on the PCB board and then I replaced some rewritable re chips and I'm able to unplug in and out and flash them as many times as I want so I get absolutely perfect results. So this is the results and this is absolutely phenomenal. Correct tuning, no smoke, uh, correct boost pressure, running correct pump voltage, uh, map inside the engine control unit, running correct uh, pump timing, led the magic number 150 which people like on these and a more impressive 326 newton meters of torque this is the previous the thin line and then obviously the bold lines the tuber the torque what we're producing under 2000 rpm and the mid-range torque absolutely superb for a vehicle of 1999 so that's uh 23 year old Absolutely superb the results on the dyno. This comes from him fitting, yes, genuine Bosch injectors. They aren't cheap. Uh, you know, he has gone down, down the route of that. He wasn't going to change them, uh, but when he was servicing the vehicle, I think he was removing the injectors and it's not one of the genuine injectors, so that's why I put the Bosch injectors on. Uh, the genuine 88 brake cross injectors on these, the tune up are absolutely perfect. We see anything from 120 to 130 brake course. Perfect. Uh, torque wise we see around about 270 to 290 newton meters torque uh, so yes this has gained some 20 to 25 brake horse more than what a 88 uh, one would do but for the cost of a set of Bosch injectors and everything else is it really worth it for 20 to 25 brake horse I would say not the 88 brake horse ones uh, ones tuned up to 120 to 130 brake horse I think they drive very very well uh, for what they are but you know, this one's got another 20 to 25 brake horse. Uh, he has fit genuine Bosch injectors. Um, absolutely perfect. I've thoroughly enjoyed tuning this vehicle. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys to watch. So thanks for watching. If you want your vehicles booking in, uh, visit our website, which is uh, penalformance.com.